today we're discussing a Fender Custom Shop Stratocaster. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us online at tarpleymusic.com and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So this I'm holding is a custom shop Stratocaster from Fender. So is it just a really nice Strat? Well, that's one way to say it, but literally with custom shops, you can get a lot of combinations that literally are just tailored for you. And I mean, if you're a longtime Strat guy, you know exactly what you like and don't like. It's, I mean, you can literally get the perfect Strat for you, right? So this particular one is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I've had a pleasure playing it uh, all day. It's actually got a feature on it I've never actually got to really mess with before. I knew about it and have heard videos though. So uh, really great when I got to do it uh, myself. So this is kind of a 60s style Strat in some ways, uh, but it is a full alder body, right? Um, you've got the all the original 57 style contour, so incredibly comfortable to play. The neck has already got sanded down, so... A lot of times in those, you know, really glossy necks, you just, you want to wear them down because your thumb gets all sticky on the back. So it's it's just ready uh, to go. This is actually a compound radius neck. So normally I talk about the radius of the neck. It's literally the, uh, the, the curvature of that. Well, this one actually changes. So it starts with the 9.5, which is very generally used for a lot of chord playing. Uh, and then it goes to a 12 inch radius, which is often identified with uh, you know, solo playing and lead lines and things like that. So you've got from here, moving on up there, getting chord progressions into uh, a solo instrument. So a guy who's in a power trio maybe or something does a lot of the rhythm stuff and a lot of the soloing back and forth. Um, it, it took a little while to get used to uh, today. I played it for a little while and then I just, man, I just sunk right into it. It made a lot of sense. And so it's a really cool thing that you can get on the custom straps as a um, compound a radius. Um, like that. So what other features does this have that you may not normally see? Well, first of all, they are hand wound pickups. Okay. Um, these actually are dual mag twos. So the E, A, D, and G magnets are an eco five, uh, magnets. And they're really made for a lot of, to get all those highs and the lows in there. And then the B and E actually go to a different, uh, magnet pick up and the reason for that is it blends well from your your wound strings into your unwound strings so there's a lot of just great marriage of the volumes and stuff like that it's just really really consistent so it does make uh, a, a huge difference on that so normally on a strat you've got your five-way pickup that does your three different single coils right position one is here's your bridge position two is bridge and middle Position three, middle. Position four is your uh, middle and neck. And then your position five is just the neck. Well, there's two combinations a Strat generally does not have. It does not have the combination of the neck and the bridge, and it doesn't have a combination of all three. So with the blender, you actually can do that. The second toad knob acts as the blender. So if I'm in position one, Rocking out the bridge pickup, I got a lot of that bite. I was just like, man, I really want to add some warmth of this. Generally can't do it. It'd be real similar to a Telecaster in the middle position, right, where you get both pickups. As I blend that in, I add that pickup in. So when I go to position two, bridge pickup, middle pickup, now I'm blending this one in again for possibility of a blend of all three. So I want to talk about a tonal factory. A Strat already, five very great tones without even messing with the tone knobs, but now you can really do two combinations you really can't get anywhere, and I loved dialing those in today, and we're going to hear some of that with and without overdrive later. So, yes, custom Strat, a lot of different things that you will not see on the mainline Strats because of the time it takes into it, hand-wide pickups, there's got a compound radius, there's this, uh, it's the 50 Strat half blender. It's just really killer, so I can't wait to let you hear it. So we're going to do some uh, playing in uh, all the positions and with the blender, with and without some overdrive, and of course we will hear it in the mix. All right, so to get a really consistent signal, uh, I'm, I'm going through the Strymon Riverside overdrive pedal. Love this overdrive pedal. It's a really cool one. Check that out as well. But it, And then we're going into uh, Fender Tone Master Deluxe Reverb Amp, and then we're just going direct out of this into the interface, so nothing is added other than 
the nothing's added post. So this is the signal that we're going to get. So here we are in just good old standard strap mode, right? So we've got in position five, here is our rhythm or our neck pickup. Right, moving on to the sweet spot, position four, so this is neck and middle. Works great for your really rhythmic part. I spent a lot of time in position four, love it. So middle position, just your middle pick up here. Get a little brighter now because we're going to add the bridge pickup is also known as a treble pickup so it's where you're really great for your soloing sections you generally probably gonna be in position one or two and then all the way to so position one this is our bridge pickup Now I was saying with that half blender is I can actually bring so I'm bringing in this to add this combination that we really couldn't get before in a string. You can really mellow that out but keep some punch. So I want to go to position two. We're at these two pickups and now we're blending that one in again for all three. So let's try out one extreme to the other. Really melts it out, but it's got a, that really kind of cool chugga chugga part. Chugga chugga. But without it, it's really bright and punchy. So we're gonna go through those same ones, and I'm just gonna play a little a little bit with the overdrive and just switch through them. And you can see that the, all the tonal differences here. We're just a little bit of overdrive starting in position five. <laughs> get a lot of that solo playing and a lot of bite up there so here is uh, position one again and we're gonna dial in that blender to mellow it out some. I like it right in the middle man I think it's great and then if we move in in here same thing now we're getting all three really mellow. Still got a little bit of that brightness from this one here. So just a ton and ton of tonal qualities. Now, can you solo in your five and four? Of course, we're just generally speaking, um, you will see a lot of rhythm play. Right, and that's why you'll see them flipping that switch to get those different tones from, from one side to the other. Extremely versatile. So we've heard this thing in all the positions on its own, both clean and dirty. So now we're going to hear it kind of in a song mix with uh, some music that I had recorded earlier. Hit it, boys.
So most guitarists in their life at some point have probably pieced together the perfect strat in their mind. Well, the truth is, is you literally can piece together the perfect strat for you uh, with the Fender Custom Shop guitar. This particular one has really grown on me because I love the Fat 50s Half Blender. It's something that I've kind of heard before because I really love Tellys too. Um, but to get to really mess with that, you know, it's it's really, really cool. And I've never played, uh, for very long, I've never played uh, any sort of a, a neck that switches radius like that. And at first it was, it was just, it throws you off, but it's going to. But as I started going back from chord playing into lead playing, I really felt like, man, I'm almost moving to two different feeling, feeling guitars. I'm not exactly sure where that happens around here. I would assume around the ninth fret or so, or it's pretty gradual. Um, but man, it's it's a really cool thing. Now, hey, I want that exact guitar, but I just want a seven and twenty fifth, the whole whatever. Great, right? Uh, there's a reason there's so many great guitars out there because people are so different. You know, most of your tone is going to come from here, right? It's your fingers and your playing style, which is why I'm always trying to figure out how to do, <laughs> do that. It's just, uh, you know, uh, every day I fight and love and hate the guitar all at the same time because I'm just not anywhere near where I want to be. Um, but at the same time, when you get on a guitar like this, you understand your potential, right? When you do hit things right and they just sing that extra. So does it make a difference? Ab absolutely. Um, I think that's where you go from great to phenomenal is that instrument can give you that extra little. And this is just really cool. It's got a lot of cool wear and tear on it. Not overdone like it's relic or anything, but it's just got some little bit little bit of a beat up on it. And so not just from a relic standpoint of looks, but the back of the neck especially, it really makes it feel like there's nothing better than when a neck is worn in like this um, naturally. For, for me, um, a lot of Strat guys I know um, are the same way. So really great. Anytime you get a chance to pick up a Fender Custom Shop guitar, pick it up and play it, but figure out why it, what Custom Shop about it what kind of wiring they used and things like that. From that standpoint, you start to make that in your mental Rolodex of things you like. And so, you know, I really love this, but I really like to have that same guitar, but with a maple neck instead of rosewood. You can, right? Um, so it's just a really great thing. So anytime you get it, come down to the store and get to play a custom shop guitar like this, you need to do it and then figure out why it's a custom shop and what makes it different. And remember those features because I can tell you about it and it's great to get that idea of knowledge and stuff like that, but until you put your hands on it, it, it you're not really going to know uh, what that feels like. So love this guitar. It's amazing. I'm so uh, glad we got it in the company. It's a really killer guitar and just black with tortoiseshell, very classic. Everything about it is very, very classic. So I really hope you like this video. Uh, hit like below if you did enjoy it and um, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out if you subscribe, if you haven't done so already. And if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, which come out every week, then just turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next one.